Hello again and welcome to the intro video for Unit 12. Today we're talking about imperatives for suggestions and orders. All right, let's get started. Again, we are at the doctor's office. Last time we had vocabulary about different types of health problems. Today we have vocabulary about different common medications for those health problems. For example, here we have cough syrup. And cough syrup we take for a cough, obviously, or maybe a sore throat. Next, we have cold pills. What are pills? Well, these are pills. And we take cold pills generally for a cold or a flu. Next, we have antacid. Antacid. Or some people say anacid. And an acid we take for a stomach ache. Next, we have muscle cream. Muscle cream. And muscle cream we take for sore muscles or a backache. Sore muscles is when you have pain in your muscles. The muscles are sore. So we say sore muscles. Next, we have aspirin. And aspirin, of course, we take for a headache or general pain in all of the body. Next, we have eye drops. Eye drops are for dry eyes. Next, we have nasal spray. Nasal spray is for your nose when you have allergies. Allergies. And last, we have cough drops. What are cough drops? Well, these are cough drops. And obviously, we use cough drops for when we have a cough or a sore throat, similar to cough syrup. All right, very good. Do you remember Mr. McDonald and Dr. White? Mr. McDonald is in Dr. White's office because he is sick. Dr. White is giving him some medicine and advice so he can feel better. Let's listen to the conversation. Okay, Mr. McDonald, here you are. What are these? They're cough drops to help your cough. Take one drop every eight hours. Drink something hot, like tea. Don't drink anything cold. Okay, and uh, what else do I need to do? And here is some aspirin for your headache. Take two every six hours and don't listen to loud music. Okay, thank you. Uh, and what about my sore throat? Yes, yes, here you go. Take this cough syrup once every four hours. Also, don't sing and don't yell. O okay, then. Is there anything else I need to do? Yes. Stay home and rest in bed. Don't go to work. Come back to see me if you don't feel better soon. Stay home? Okay, I could do that. 
Thanks, Doctor. You're welcome, Mr. McDonald. Feel better. Uh, thanks. Take care. All right. Now it's time for our grammar. And today's grammar is imperatives. Imperatives are verbs with no subject. We use imperatives for orders, mandates, and suggestions. But first, let's look at this sentence. Mr. McDonald says, I have a cough. This is a normal sentence in English because we have the subject I and the verb have. Normal sentences always use a subject for the verb, but in today's grammar, the imperatives do not use a subject with the verb, and these are orders, mandates, and suggestions. Let's look at some examples that Dr. White gives Mr. McDonald. For example, take some cough drops. Take is the verb, and there is no subject, so this verb is an imperative. It is an order, or a mandate, or a suggestion. Take some cough drops, or drink some hot tea. Again, the verb and no subject. Another example of an imperative for a suggestion, stay home and rest in bed. We have two imperatives, stay and rest. Notice there are no subjects in the sentence, only the verb. Now, sometimes we give a suggestion or an order, and it's a negative imperative. For the negative imperative, we use don't for all types of sentences, and the verb. So, for example, one example of a negative imperative Dr. White says is don't yell and don't sing. This is yell and when you have a cough it's important. Don't yell and don't sing. Another example of the negative imperative don't drink anything cold. Very good. So to review, the imperatives in English we use to give orders, mandates, and suggestions. And the imperative is a verb with no subject. For example, take some cough drops. Very good. All right. So now it's Time to practice. So get ready. Okay, now to practice, we are going to see different health problems. For example, I'm sick. And we are going to think of the correct imperative for different suggestions from the doctor or the pharmacist. So, for example, what is the correct imperative? The first one, rest in bed. Next, go to the doctor. And the last one, don't go to work. Very good. The next problem, my eyes hurt. What are the correct suggestions? For example, the first one, use eye drops. The next one, don't watch TV. And the last one, 
don't work on the computer. Very good. The next problem. I have a stomach ache. What are the correct imperatives? For example, number one, take antacid. Next, don't eat too much. And the last one, drink water with lemon. Very good. And the last problem. I have a backache. What are the correct suggestions? For example, number one, use muscle cream. The next one, take some aspirin. And the last one, don't exercise or pick up heavy things. Very good. So this was the intro video for Unit 12, Imperatives for Suggestions and Orders. Thanks for watching and good luck.